in uh, WebSocket Project 08 I had a WebSocket programmatic client endpoint Java FX uh, chat application and I was running against uh, WebSocket Project 02 as a server so in uh, this tutorial in WebSocket uh, Project 09 I'm gonna have a WebSocket uh, client endpoint JavaFX uh, simple chat application that is gonna have also encoders and uh, decoders and it's gonna be running against uh, this uh, server WebSocket uh, Project 03 which also have encoders and uh, decoders on its end so on both ends I'm gonna have encoders and uh, decoders and uh, the complete source code for this uh, project is gonna be available for uh, download and uh, it can be downloaded uh, from here and uh, for it to run it's gonna need uh, this one uh, WebSocket Tutorial 03 that's gonna act as a server next I'm gonna show how to uh, quickly import set up and uh, run this uh, application so I'm gonna start uh, Eclipse with a uh, new workspace I call it uh, WebSocket 09 So let me start by importing the zip file. So I'm going to do a file import and uh, existing project into workspace. And I'm going to import this guy. And it's gonna come with everything with uh, javax.json.jar and uh, Tyrus standalone client. And I have uh, JavaFX installed to the default location on my computer. So I have it in C program files, uh, Oracle, and uh, JavaFX 2.0 SDK. And this is uh, so the JFX rt.jar is located here in the lib directory and this is uh, source code so next uh, let me go ahead and uh, import uh, the war file that this application is going to be running against and the target uh, runtime is going to be glassfish uh, 4 of uh, glassfish 4 and uh, glassfish and for the JRE gonna have uh, my JDK 1.7 here okay 
next I'm gonna start this uh, server Actually, let me run in a Chrome browser. And uh, let me start two JavaFX uh, client instances also. So it's connected as this uh, username and they can send messages now. 